In this video, we'll understand how to check for layout references in a skin rule. So consider this is the by default screen getting loaded. And if we just observe the screen, we can understand that there is door number and road number asking for. And the first one, it is take like 25% of the screen size and the remaining one, it is like 75%. Okay, so this is the by default screen design. Now, today, if your business requirement is to increase the space between these two or just to add a border around or if you just wanted to make some changes, whatever related to styles, what we'll do, we'll go for skin rule. So let me open skin rule once. So in skin rule, I have to understand what is the format used. So here it is like 25 and 75. So this should be the format to be used there. So if they're asking you to make any changes, you will do it here accordingly. Maybe if they're asking you to add a border or maybe to add a space. So here, let me change something. Maybe to border. So we can understand space will be added up. So let me change it to 50 so that we can easily understand. So space is getting added up. So let me save this. So if your requirement is to make some changes to the existing thing, you'll come to skin rule and do the things here. Now, if we just check for the output, so we can understand changes are impacted, space is getting increased. And now the problem what you face here is, since you're trying to make the changes at the layout level, that is at the skin rule level, wherever that layout is used, maybe this default 2575, this might be used in 20 different places, right? So if you just make changes here, it will be impacted everywhere. So before you making any changes, you have to understand where this format is used. So how to understand the format references? So for that, we have to go for actions and list sections. This is what you have to understand. So generally to check for the rule references, we can easily do from actions. That is from here. But this is like a format reference. So how to get all the list of formats or all the list of references for these formats. For that, you can just simply click on this one. I can understand all the list of sections using this layout and accordingly we can proceed further. So likewise for every, so for every format, you can just check for the reference and list out all the sections and you can make the changes accordingly. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you. Everyone.